I came by uh, guys from, from Washburn and Randall. Um, they're working on this uh, guitar for me. They wanted to come up with the signature model uh, guitar. So we've been kind of working on some designs and some some concepts for it. And uh, the, you know, I just I wanted something that uh, you know not too far out there, nothing that was too wild, but something that was definitely going to be identifiable. Is it? Yeah, you feeling the neck? Is there anything yeah. you want to change on that? No, I, I think it feels great. <laughs> if I was teching for you, that's what I'd basically give you. And if you didn't like it, you could tell me go higher, go lower, or go out the door. So. <laughs> <laughs> Eric and, and Chewy originally came up with the first design, and they did like three designs for him. And um, he, he liked them, but he, he had one that he favored the best. This is the actual original first one we built. And I mean, as you can see, where he made his small chains, this horn we had go a little smaller. We had a completely different headstock, which is pretty unique, but I think it was just a little too much for him. I don't want it to be um, just this metal looking guitar that can be dated over time as well too. I want something that, that any style of guitar player can pick up and, and find something in it. When we were working with him, I just drew a couple sketches out on a piece of paper and uh, he had us build three of these guitars. This one, this one, and this one. And then uh, you can see that's a signature model now. What we have here is a uh... Uh, basically what the new Dan Donegan guitar was based off of. Once we get it finalized and, and we know that he likes it, it will go from here to, to the machines. I just know that when I pick it up and I feel it, you know, that if it feels right, then that's it. So I leave it up to the experts to kind of, uh, you know, go over discussions with them and, and they, they make it happen. Because everybody has, you know, a little bit of pride in their work, from the sanders to the buffers, to the assemblers, to the guys who are, you know, doing the rough cut of, of, of the wood. We have some great guys around here. It just amazes me the, the kind of quality work that these guys uh, can do with equipment, because I, I have no idea how to, <laughs> how to do this stuff. The, the greatest thing is to see them playing it on stage. Because once you see it up on stage and then you're actually using it and playing it every day, yeah. that, that's kind of where the pat on the back comes from. Yeah. Hey, whoa. Wow, oh, sweet. Cool. Chewy? Chewy. Yeah, Chewy, Chewy man. Get you pulled. Yeah. Unbelievable. How did he do that? It's his little secret. Wow. He won't tell any of us how he does it. And this is pretty awesome. The back of it will be angled like that the, the mirrors so the guitar stands so you can see the back. Appreciate it.